where are Burlington's newest homes and condos found? As this is one of the most common questions I get from other buyers looking to move to Burlington. And the first neighborhood I always recommend them checking out is Alton Village. As Alton Village is located on the north side of Burlington, just north of Dundas here. And it's Burlington's newest community that started developing in 2010 and is just finishing up construction today. Now throughout this neighborhood here, you're gonna find the similar look and feel with that consistency across the board for both detached homes and townhomes to choose from with modern finishings both on the interior as well as exterior. Now because it is a newer developed area you are going to have more modest sized lots but I know so many buyers that love moving to this area and don't mind the lower amount of maintenance it takes. Now as for what you can expect for real estate in this community here it is primarily detached homes about 63% of the sales happen here are detached homes with the median price being just under 1.4 million dollars and then as for townhomes it makes up 21% of the real estate sold here with the average sold price just being at $900,000 however they can range from 800 all the way up to 1.25 million and then as for the condos you'll find in this neighborhood here makes up 16% of the total real estate sold with a massive condo development just being finished on the east side of this neighborhood here with the median sold price price being just under $550,000, making it a perfect opportunity for any investors that want a rental unit or first time home buyers looking to get new real estate within Burlington. As not only does this building here offer great amenities like a rooftop, pool, terrace, and fire pits, as well as a fully equipped gym, but you're also just a short walk away from amazing amenities. And that not just goes for the condo, but also for the semi-detached and detached homes found throughout this neighborhood here. As on each of the corners on Dundas, you're going to find a wide variety of different shopping options as you're going to find every grocery store you could possibly imagine from Farm Bar to Longo's to Fortino's and Walmart, many different gyms to choose from as well as other stores like Golf Town, Lowe's, Winners, Sports Check and more. But I know another thing families love about living in Alton Village is the great schools it offers as within the neighborhood's borders, not only do you have Alton Village Public School, but you also have St. Anne Catholic Elementary School, two of the top rated elementary schools on the Fraser Institute in Burlington, but you also have Burlington's newest high school, Frank J. Hayden Public High School, offering grades 9 through 12. And right beside this high school here, you'll find Harbor Recreation Center as well as Norton Park, which not only offers a large amount of gyms, a public library, wide variety of different outdoor sporting fields, as well as a skate park, a splash pad, and a leash-free dog park. But you also will find a wide variety of walking trails in this park here, as well as just the surrounding parks in the neighborhood. So if you're new here, my name is Matthew. I'm a local realtor, and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Burlington and these surrounding cities and recently I've had a bunch of people reach out looking to buy here so if that's you as well feel free to send me a message otherwise let's jump on in to the second communities I always recommend for buyers looking for new builds especially if they're looking for a larger lot and want a home that is its own unique character and charm and those neighborhoods would be Roseland, Shore Acres and Elizabeth Gardens all located on the south end of Burlington, just south of New Street, in between Burl Oak and Guelph Line. And here you're gonna find some of the premium real estate found throughout Burlington. Now, originally this neighborhood was built in the 1960s. However, because of its desirability with amazing schools, close and easy access to Lake Ontario and downtown Burlington, and many homes sitting on quiet streets with mature trees lining them, you can see why so many people in the last 10 15 years have bought an older home tore it down and built a custom project there with more buildings it feels like being completed every single year and throughout this neighborhood because of this transition you're going to notice that each home has its own character its own vibe its own charm so if you're thinking about buying some land tearing down a home and building your dream home these neighborhoods you need to consider or if you're looking for a custom built home that's ready for you to move in this is also a great great spot to check out. And then as for how the real estate breaks down in this neighborhood here is it's primarily detached homes as this made up 76% of the sales that happen in these neighborhoods here with the median sold price just being under $1.7 million. However, because of the wide range of different types of homes and the conditions they're in, you're going to find a huge range that homes are selling as you have some 
small old homes selling around a million dollars and then you have huge brand new custom luxurious homes finishing for three million dollars plus however the majority are gonna sell between 1.25 and 2 million dollars and as a rule of thumb the Elizabeth Garden neighborhood is going to be one of the more affordable neighborhoods especially when you compare to Roseland and Short Acres as these are some of the most expensive real estate you're gonna find throughout Burlington and then if you're looking for a condo or a townhome you're gonna find them primarily in the Elizabeth Garden neighborhood and they're not going to be built necessarily just yesterday they're going to be built over the last really 30 years with nine percent of the total real estate being townhomes sold here with the median sold price just being under eight hundred thousand dollars and then condos made up about 15 percent of the total real estate sold with the median sold price just being under six hundred and twenty thousand dollars and like Alton Village I know so many families living in these neighborhoods here that absolutely love living here also for the great schools as not only do you have Jaunty Tuck Public School Pinelands Public School as well as St. Raphael's Catholic Elementary School but you also have one of the best high schools in Nelson Public High School right beside these neighborhoods here and then other than the great schools you're also just within walking distance to many different parks and waterfront parks to enjoy as not only do you have Paletta Mansion Park or Burl Oak Waterfront Parks but you also have a few smaller parks throughout as well as a few secret spots where you can find those Muskoka chairs looking out to Lake Ontario for you to enjoy. And then just on the other side of New Street, right beside Nelson High School, you have Nelson Park, which is one of Burlington's largest inner city parks that offers many different sports fields, an outdoor pool, a basketball court, tennis courts, as well as a skate park, dirt bike jumps, as well as so much more. But throughout this neighborhood here, unlike Alton Village, you're not going to have the ease of walkability as this neighborhood was really built in the 1960s. So it's a bit more car dependent. However, you do get some easy access to great amenities. I know people living in this neighborhood here absolutely love the grocery store, Mary Lou's, but you also have those chain ones like Fortino's as well as many different shops. And you start to see more local businesses found in South Burlington. Some of my favorite ones around these communities here would be JC's Hot Bagels, Loom Docks as well as Sami Donaires. So if you're looking for a neighborhood that might be a bit more walkable, offer those custom built homes on a mature lot, this next neighborhood probably is for you. And that is downtown Burlington or otherwise known as Central and Maple Burlington. And here you're going to find a wide mixture of real estate options as 39% of the real estate sales were detached homes. And similarly to Roseland and Shore Acres, what you're gonna find here is some older detached homes that have been recently finished on the inside to some custom built homes sitting on mature size lots with the median sold price in the last 12 months being just over $1.2 million with some of those older smaller homes selling at the $1 million mark and some of those newer bigger homes selling around that two million dollar mark but then throughout the downtown area here you're going to find a wide variety of different townhome options to choose from some have just been finished today as well as this makes up about 19 percent of the real estate sold with the median sold price in the last 12 months being just under eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars and then perhaps where you're going to find the greatest amount of new condos to choose from is this area here as this made up about 42 percent of the total real estate sold with the median sold price just being under $700,000. And here you're going to find some one beds for $500,000 as well as some penthouses for $1.25, $1.5 million. And here is also where the most amount of condo developments are happening every single year. As currently there's seven different condo buildings being built in Burlington and six of them are in these neighborhoods here. Three of my personal favorite ones you need to check out is Beausoleil Condos, which is going to be right on the water, right beside Burlington's Pier. And then you have Gallery Condo and Lofts, which is being built right beside Burlington's Town Hall right on Branch Street where you're in the thick of everything going on in downtown and close to many great local businesses but you also have Illumina Condos which is in the Maple neighborhood with another building offering great amenities and stunning views from its units. So if you're interested in learning more about the different developments that are going on now and are going to be happening in the future or just the different real estate opportunities in all
Walton Village or the other neighborhoods we've covered so far, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to help you out. But some other reasons why I know so many people love living in the downtown area, capitalizing on their new condo is because of the walkability. As like I said, if you're looking for a neighborhood that is the most walkable in Burlington, this is downtown Burlington. As you have some great amenities and local businesses, as not only do you have Sunshine Donuts, my favorite donut spot, but you also have Son of a Peach Pizzeria, RC's ice cream as well as Village Square which is full of many local businesses that makes you feel like you're in Europe and then also, throughout downtown, you're not lacking any green spaces and parks as you're right beside Spencer Smith Park, which is perfect for walks in the springtime to see the flowering cherry blossoms, but also in the winter, there's an outdoor skating rink for you to enjoy. And then throughout the year, you have a lot of different events and festivals from Rib Fest to the Food Truck Festival to Canada's Day going on and happening in this park here. And then when you're ready to kick back and enjoy a day in the sun, you can also visit Burlington Beach. So if you're interested in learning where those new communities, new custom built homes or new condos are being built, the next video I'd recommend you go take a look at is my video covering where those new developments are in Oakville. So you can find that video right here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.